Hey everyone, I'm back at it again today with another video. Um, today is a topic I've been wanting to talk about for quite a long time. I mean, this is partially one of the main reasons why I'm making Return Back on YouTube here. Uh, today, I want to discuss um, why I switched to Linux as opposed to using Windows and why you should as well. Um, there was kind of a lot of factors revolving around in this. Um, one, of the, one of the main factors for me had to be... Um, you know, growing up, I, you know, bought my own laptop, you know, my first laptop I used for, like, end of high school, I used it all of college, and actually it's the laptop I used to edit all my old, you know, Sweet Pea videos, all the commentary style things and whatnot, right? Um, but kind of bouncing off that, basically, that laptop was a little bit lower spec, lower end, you know, it wasn't anything fantastic, it was an HP, like, Pavilion, I forget what generation it was like a two in one technically, but I'd always disable the touch screen because it was annoying. Um, it had eight gigs of RAM, um, a terabyte H uh, hard hard disk, not an SSD, so it was very slow. Um, and also ran an Intel Core i three, I think eleventh gen, so it was very limited in that aspect as well. Um, and one of the main sticking points for me is you know I was running Windows ten at the time um, because you know I used Windows growing up like. A lot of people do, right? And when Windows 11 came out, they basically, you know, if you didn't have a newer gen processor, secure boot enabled, to my knowledge, and also it had to use four, it needed four gigs of RAM to even boot. So therefore, for me, that's half of the RAM I had on my old PC. I know I could upgrade it, but besides the point, you know, my old PC was, you know, legacy hardware, but it was all I could afford at the time because I was just starting out just getting things going, right? Um, that was one of the first sticking points to me why I switched to Linux. Also, you know, I saw some very insightful things over the years. Um, one one of the newest uh, kind of viewpoints I can see, I saw was, uh, there was a video I watched, um, I forget the gentleman's name, but basically if we take a look, you know, the kind of the, kind of the joke is Windows keeps getting worse and worse, and especially now, after you know they announced like 11 is gonna uh, windows 11 is gonna have like recall where it basically takes pictures of your you know pc screen and stores them in a local encrypted database and that's gonna allow threat actors just to have a field day in my opinion right um but the one of the main points for me is that um that we always noticed that when you know software that especially older used to be a lot better and you know it used to be more pristine clean cut and it just felt a lot more smoothly um and that was due to the fact that you know back in that day back in those days i should say i wasn't around but this is something i heard that was very insightful um there was only limited amounts of memory you know on the actual disc or ram or you know whatever right physical memory there's very very limited um you know you only had a couple like either 100 megabytes or like 50 megabytes or even less right so when developers had to make programs work um, they used everything they had and made it efficient as possible. Now, if you fast forward to today, you know, there's people that have 64 gigabytes of RAM. I have, you know, on back here, 32 gigs of RAM. Um, there's some people that have 128 because, you know, they're making movies, editing, right? And, you know, Microsoft just takes that and, you know, they add a bunch of crap on and make the OS terrible. Um, so kind of leading off those points, and there's more stuff too, uh, the obvious things like the, the tracking, um, you know, having, making, you know, needing to mainly have a Windows account, I mean, there's ways to get around it, but just being annoying, you know, forcing everything to be, you know, account-based, and also having like a search slash start menu that doesn't even work, um, that, you know, you try to search the calculator and it leads you to bang.com, which sucks as well. Um, you know, aside from the spyware, bloatware, you know, being very slow, having hardware requirements, um, what else? And then the UI kind of just kind of ge keeps getting worse and worse. Um, essentially, what I've noticed now, because I still I use Linux, like daily driver, like for my personal stuff. But for work, you know, I have to use Windows, be compliant, whatever. Not a big deal. Um, Windows 11 just kind of keeps burying and burying the, the old UI that everybody knows it, behind their new crappy, like, wannabe KDE Plasma um, UI, which really sucks. And basically, if you want to change a setting, you have to kind of, like, either try to use the search or use your best like i guess maze like corn maze skills to find any setting um so kind of with all those reasons that that's kind of why i switched to linux now um a lot of people are going to be nervous like you know 
when switching to Linux, is it that big of an adjustment and how do I game? But if you kind of look into things nowadays, Linux is being more and more widely used. Um, I know I read an article not too long ago that I think it's some German, the German government or somebody within Germany, they're switching everything to Linux and they're using Linux Mint, which is like a really friendly distribution. But, you know, mainly the, the main reason I switched is just all those things that Microsoft was doing made it very difficult for me to want to stay with Windows. And now, you know, besides all the simple stuff like the spyware and the pirate, you know, the privacy concerns, but also the other BS stuff as well, it just made it very difficult for me to be a Microsoft um, enjoyer, you could say, um, Windows enjoyer. But I switched to Linux um, in the summer of 2022. Um, I switched to Linux Mint uh, Debian Edition, I believe it was 5 at the time, and it's been great. Um, you know, besides that, now I just use plain Debian, but Debian is on all my servers, and I also use, like, Open, or FreeBSD, which is, like, Unix-like, Unix-based. Um, that's great as well, but, you know, just kind of putting it out there, like, if you haven't, if you're frustrated, you know, with all of Windows, it's buggy, um, it just doesn't feel right, and, you know, it used to be a lot smoother, like, with XP and, you know, even 98, or even 7, you know. Uh, that that's why like you know that's that's why i switched i was just sick of all those things and you know they didn't make it easy for me to want to upgrade and when i did try the new you know windows like at my job i have it i don't like it either it's not very intuitive and it's just kind of they basically did a copy and paste from 10 to 11 just with a little bit of ui tweaking which really isn't that big of a deal um but you know trying linux like i guess last thing i'd have to say um if you're scared to try it, think of it like this. Anytime you try something new in life, right? Whether it be a new sport, um, you know, a new hobby, like just such as like, you know, fishing, hunting, fixing cars, flying airplanes, you know, that's kind of extreme, but right? You have to try to learn, take it, you know, from a new perspective. Uh, especially too, the, a comparison I like is at one point we all learned to use Windows when we were growing up, I assume, right? Um, you had to learn what the start menu was, how do I get to, like, you know, Internet Explorer, or the web browser Edge, right? You, everyone had to learn how to use Windows. So if you can, if you learn how to use Windows, you can learn, how to, you can learn, excuse me, how to use Linux. Um, but with that being said, there will be, like, a part two to this video um, on how I switched to Linux and how um, you can set yourself up for success and how to do it smoothly. Um but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. That was kind of a little bit of a dialogue about how, why I switched to the next and why you should as well. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.